Hi, today we have Mr. Carl Zoner. I hope I pronounced it correct. Perfect. Thank you. He has been uh, an advisor for Wonder Brains and he's an Austrian citizen and I'm really glad that he's here with us today. So, welcome to Wonder Brains and uh, uh before this we had an interaction with the entire team and there were certain things that we came up with and uh, there were certain questions that were asked and uh, he came with, came up with beautiful answers which we thought should be recorded for future references and should be shared with everyone so uh, so here is uh, my first question and before i ask the questions uh, I would like to ask you that how is the experience how was the experience for you to have an inter interaction with the entire team here It's a beautiful motivated group they are I think originally dedicated to what they are doing and that felt when I'm talking I'm feeling the resonance and I felt that they are very interested also in their own uh development during the doing this work and especially also for the children thank you so much and it's an honor to hear such kind words from you so uh, uh what according to you is the best practice in the schools in austria the best practices uh, that you feel benefit children the most from my own history i can say it is the dedication of the teachers in fact most we are learning by that what the teacher is himself the essence of his entire life and stand in the world and society and why he is doing the job is he doing it only for money or is he doing it because he likes to teach and he has something to say and now there is much also with using different methods and not making it frontal teachment teaching frontal teaching but uh, to use different methods but i say also it's limited sometimes because if you have to say something you have to say it and there's no other way and the personality which is giving an impression and inspiration for those who listen uh is i think that what brings up and inspires the young also to to follow and and uh, stretch for betterment of society i think this is an essence and uh i think also there will there is a balance of what we have to know we are not like there is too much knowledge poured into the children we have come after uh 40 50 years after the war we have come to a more relaxed uh relation in in learning by heart and to doing things not imposing to be a mathematic genius on everybody uh but to see that everybody is developing as for his own abilities and even somebody may be weak in math or in a language he will surely not get a profession where this mathematic is playing a big role so we can squeeze an eye in such weaknesses we have to maintain a particular limit but we don't have to try to make a genius in every field out of everybody <laughs> very rightly said and i would like to inform our audience that uh, he is a teacher by choice and by heart and that is what he expects every teacher in the system whether it is in austria or india to be right sir yes <laughs> okay uh, the next question is that uh, can you share any meditative exercise with us for a child who is restless and who's uh who's not attentive that when he should be I think in India you know much better than me <laughs> If we look to different meditation types the hatha yoga 
is in fact the one which is for the water constitution, for the unstable. Because it teaches stability in movement. Naturally, we don't have to do yoga immediately with the child, but what may help in the children? I hear, I don't know about the classrooms in Austria, we have sometimes the windows closed and they are closing very well, so fresh air at the beginning is a very good thing for the children to open the windows and uh, to do some movements um, like uh, bodily, like uh, Kniebeugen, what's it in uh, the squats? That just the, the sitting for especially such children <laughs> is very hard, so they start being on the move. And like in the Hatha Yoga, if we put it into action at some point and give it a place, then the child has much easier sitting afterwards. Now, don't ask me please <laughs> in, the, in the class how to manage it with everybody appropriate. But this can help for, for a child which is very active physically. That's, it means that they, they just have to get the energy out and uh, then sit again and then they will have less problems and slowly not by f enforcing it, it will go by itself. Thank you so much. I'm sure that this will be very helpful. I can uh, already see it happening in my class with the students. Okay, so the next question is that how do you feel we can motivate uh, a child or say students in a classroom in context of discipline for their personality development? Uh, like we just had a discussion before this interaction uh, that discipline is important for children for their own growth. It should not be imposed on them because it's a part of the system. However, little bit of discipline is going to help them in their personality development. So how do you think we can motivate them for that? When you said that, I just had to smile because there is something I love in India. It is the early morning chai. My experience in the family that you wake up before the sunrise and then kitchen chai have this family time together everybody taking his bath fresh clothes breakfast maybe meditation if they do and to be with the rhythm of the universe and I was sometimes thinking why the British and the Indian culture went together so well. I think when the British woke up at nine o'clock, <laughs> the Indian already had their lives in the morning for four hours, did their family time. And even in children, I think, best to start morning with happiness. And then we see nat natural rhythms. This is the most important and it's not so important the small small disciplines which in children sometimes are difficult but to give the impression that the children are happy to wake up in the morning is the biggest gift parents can give and in teaching we can just uh, leave it for them and then maybe they get inspired all right so that means we have to lead them by actions more than words as teachers this is the, my professor in philosophy used to say what you say is some giving some impression what you do children observe and it has a bigger impression but what is really beyond is what you are so as teachers we have to look for our own cleanliness mentally that we are ourselves building a problem-free zone in the classroom and expand this problem-free zone for the children, take the pressure from them, that they go into this space of happy and easy learning. Uh, it is very difficult to do it with the pressure, then it becomes like a black hole and they start struggling and falling. We should really try to bring this joy in learning into them and we have to live it ourselves. Keep on learning. 
Thank you so much. I am sure that everything that we talked about is going to be very helpful for the entire team and for our audience as well. Thanks a lot and please keep your advices uh, coming in for Wonder Brains always. <laughs>